In our software you have two tools to automatically dimension floor plans. One for the entire floor plan of the current layer and one for just a single wall or one side of a building. First activate in our project viewer the floor and the layer on which your walls are located. Then start the automatic dimension draft tool. First you get a dialog with available settings, in which you can, for example, determine the distance to the building sides and the number of dimension lines. The tool creates a maximum of four dimension lines per side of the building. If the floor plan situation requires something else, for example because there are no windows on one side, fewer dimension lines are automatically generated. The dimensions of a building side then exist as a unit. This means you can open the properties dialog and, for example, adjust the spacing on one side of the floor plan. If necessary, you can separate the dimension units into individual dimension lines via the context menu and then edit them as usual. An alternative is the tool for only a single wall. Start the tool and move your mouse over one side of an exterior wall. As soon as the mouse has recognized a wall side, this is signaled with a red line. Now click once with your mouse and move the preview of the innermost dimension line in the desired direction. Another mouse click inserts the dimension lines. Automatic dimensions do not respond to changes in your floor plan. That would cost too much performance. It therefore makes sense to create automatic dimensions at the very end of your planning process. Or at least delete existing dimensions that you may have only created for checking and then create them again for your final plans. For buildings with multiple floors or floor plan layers, you have to repeat the process floor by floor.